Hello, I want to make a little short video welcoming you to Math 1C, the spring 2020 semester. My name is Tim Melvin, and I'm going to be your instructor. I'll try to keep this uh, short. I'd like to go over this little video in case you want to see how the class is going to be run and the basics before class. And this way I'm going to go through the syllabus the first day of class, but very, very quickly because you have this video. And uh, like I said, I'm Tim. I'm okay with you calling me Tim. Um, and helping with this video are my dogs. There's Wicket, looking very majestic, and Dash is somewhere squeezing his face. All right, okay, now to the important stuff. As you can see here, I've got the Canvas page open, and I try to organize everything through Canvas. You know, a class schedule, homework assignments, any uh, worksheets or uh, documents we do in class, I'll post here on Canvas. So the first thing I want to look at here is there's the uh, syllabus tab. I'm not going to go over the entire syllabus. You have a PDF copy of this right here. All right, open that up. Oops, let me center this. All right, I got the syllabus. I think the best way to get a hold of me throughout this semester, besides talking to me in class, is either email me, tmelvin at Santa Rosa, or message me through Canvas. That goes directly to my email box. And I usually answer emails, let's say, at least five, sometimes six days a week. I try to get back within 24 to 48 hours of when you email me. Um, here are my office hours. Uh, my office is Cundy215. I'm going to have my block, my big block office hours there. So Wednesday, 3.30 to 5.30, Thursday, 3 to 5. And then um, after class. So I teach an evening class Monday actually every day um, but Monday Wednesday and Thursday I'm gonna have office hours in uh, our classroom after class all right uh, course description well, that's written right here um, you should have use the same exact textbook you used for calc uh, 1 and calc 2 for technology whatever graphing calculator you use for calc 1 or calc 2 is fine it's nice to have a graphing calculator but you you don't need one with CAS, but you can use one, which is perfectly fine. Uh, exams is pretty standard. We'll have three midterms and a comprehensive final. Uh, I'll show you where I keep my class schedule on Canvas in a moment. But the important dates are the exam dates. If you miss any other class date, you could make up the work. If, as long as you talk to me in advance, you could turn in homework. If there's a good reason, if you're sick or something. Um, but if you know you're going to be out of town for whatever reason, check out these uh, really four dates. The final exam is not tentative. It will be on Tuesday, May 19th. This cannot change. So if you're going to be gone, you need to change your plans now or talk to me now. Uh, the midterm exams, these are tentative. Depending on how the schedule goes, these can change. But I'll give you at least a week warning, sometimes two, if these dates change. Otherwise, I'd try to stick to the schedule as much as possible. So our first exam is tentatively scheduled for Tuesday, February 25th. All right. Homework assignments, I'm going to go over this a little bit more when I go back to Canvas, but homework will be collected almost every class period. I'll show you where the homework assignments are on Canvas, but I'm not going to have you turn in the entire assignment. I'm not going to have you turn in usually between three and five problems, the solutions for between three and five problems. And I'm going to say this a lot the first couple weeks, but make sure you're doing all of the homework. Make sure all the homework makes sense to you, you know, eventually as you go through the material, but I am only going to collect a couple problems to give more detailed feedback on. And this is to help me with grading um, as much as kind of trying to stay organized for the class. So I'll come back and talk about the homework a little bit more. Uh, might be a little bit different from your past math classes. I do have, uh, right now I have five computer labs scheduled, possible six, but I think we'll stick with five computer labs. Uh, throughout the semester. Uh, we will meet um, on those days in our tutorial center because it closes, I believe, at 5.30. So then we could go in there um, and uh, work on the computers for those labs. And they usually give you a week, sometimes a week and a half, to work on the labs. We'll talk about those more in a, um, in a bit. Your grading breakdown is right here. Midterms 51%, computer labs 12, homework 12, final exam 25%. So fairly standard, maybe except the labs. 
Uh, like I said before, here are important dates, but make sure you mark on your calendar May 19th. I am not allowed to change that final exam. And then here's all the material that we're going to cover throughout the semester. You can read through that if you want. And the last two things on the syllabus is don't forget for the special needs. If you have a note taker or you take exams at DRG testing, get your paperwork done. Our first exam is uh, what that February 25th. So you have a couple weeks, but make sure you get your paperwork done. And academic honesty, no cheating. Seems obvious. My philosophy is there, there's no such thing as cheating on homework. You should get as much help on homework as you need or want to. Uh, whether it's homework solutions, a tutoring center, office hours, each other, Chegg, Slater, all that stuff. I don't really care. Just make sure if you get help on homework, or even if you just need to reverse engineer and copy down an answer and work backwards, make sure you could do that homework on your own before the exam, because you do not get Slater, Chegg, Tutorial Center on exams. All right. Okay, I'm going to talk about a couple of those things a little bit more. I want to talk about, um, oh, a special note right here at the very top. I'm going to have a class schedule. So I'm going to open this up in a new tab. All right, this is very tentative. So I have the homework due dates on here and any class material. So we will do some you know, voting questions in class. Um, so I'll, I'll mention this when we have these, but you have access to these on Canvas. So if you take notes, you don't have to write down everything in detail. Um, all right, that's it for that. So class schedule materials, so anything. Uh, oh, one other thing. Usually um, I, I'm going to take uh, lecture notes on the overhead. I'll write down lecture notes. We'll discuss stuff when we're not doing the voting questions or worksheets. And when I'm done with that, after each class, I scan those notes up and I'll post them in here in this class schedule. So, you know, after our first Tuesday's class, however much of 14.1 we cover in class, I will scan up my notes and post it here. So if you do happen to miss a class for whatever reason, you'll have at least, you know, the, the backbone, the skeleton of what we've covered in class. All right. A homework discussion forum. I always set this up. Some semesters, a lot of students use it. Some semesters, no students use it. But, you know, this is a, you can post a question on homework here. It is open to the entire class, so be aware. And it's not anonymous. Your name will post on here. Um, but if you have a question and you want to open it to the entire class, post it on here. I tend to look at this homework discussion probably twice a week. And any unanswered questions, I'll go through and answer. Um, also, if you see a question you think you have an answer for, you could respond and answer it. Hopefully somewhat a bit of a crowdsourcing homework if this is used well, but I don't require this, it's just an option. All right, and then now um, in Canvas, it broke down um, by chapters. We're going to cover chapters 14, 15, and 16, pretty much the entire chapters of all those. So here for each chapter, I have the homework assignments. So homework assignments for chapter 14. Here you can see the section, problem numbers, and due dates. Notice occasionally I put you know asterisks on a problem and give you some extra instructions. When we get to double and triple integration, you'll easily see some where I just want you to set up the integral. You don't actually have to go through it and integrate it. And here's your due dates here on the side for these problems. But like I said with homework, I for chapter 14.1, I'm not going to collect all of your solutions. You know, by Thursday, January 23rd, you should have this completed. What I'm going to do is two days before the due date, so that would be next Tuesday, I'm going to send out a message through Canvas that's going to tell you what problems to turn in. And I'll have the same thing right here. If you click on the 14.1 homework assignment, um, it's due in class. I'm going to let you know two days before the due date which subset of the following problems are due. So I'll send you a message through Canvas saying 14.1, turn in these you know, four problem solutions. And I want that on separate paper. I just want your solutions to the, the subset of problems I want to grade. If you turn in your homework with a giant pile with all your solutions, I'm going to give you zero. I don't want to flip through a big pile of problems. I just want to grade the you know, three to five problems to give you feedback on those. 
So make sure, if you haven't used Canvas before, I uh, use the announcements here. It should go to your email or message. You should be able to set up how to receive announcements. And make sure you do not get this, get these in your junk email box. Excuse me, your junk box in your email. Sometimes that happens because I'm going to use Canvas to tell you which problems to turn in. And it'll be two days before the due date. The reason why I'm doing that is I'm hoping you'll complete you know, the entire assignment or most of it. And then I'll, I'll let you know which problems to turn in. And really the idea is to copy those problems down. So hopefully you've already done them and turned them in. I understand how people work and you know when you get busy during the semester you might just do those three to five problems for the due date that's fine I would just encourage you to make sure to do the entire homework assignment definitely before the midterm and make sure they all make sense to you not just the turn in once all right I think that's it for here Yeah, okay. Uh, I'll go over some of these points again on our first day of class next week. I am around this week. If you have questions before the semester starts, let me know. Oh, one question I tend to get is no online homework. You don't need Cengage or WebAssign. The homework's going to be all online. The labs, I guess I will talk about the labs um, down here. They're already posted. Those are the five labs I plan on doing. I'm using uh, Wolfram Alpha. That uh, if you buy Wolfram Mathematica, it is not free. I think it's about a hundred bucks for the student version. Uh, if you have that or you want to use that, that's fine. But there is a, a free version called Wolfram Cloud. I used this last semester in One C and the previous semester for Math Five. It works fairly well. There will be some issues with cloud computing. We'll talk about when we do our first lab. But if you want to get ahead and look at this, um, I'd say just go get a cloud account going by clicking on this link. Kind of play around with this if you want to. Otherwise, definitely wait. But um, you shouldn't need to spend any money. Do not, you don't have to spend money. This is a free cloud computing resource. And hopefully you've already spent money on the book. So you don't need online homework or anything like that. All right. I look forward to meeting you guys next week.